Polish inventor Tomasz Patan, co-creator of the Jetson 1, has officially introduced the Volonaut Airbike, a jet-powered personal flying vehicle that defies traditional design norms. The airbike, which recently completed public flight demonstrations, replaces rotors and cockpits with a streamlined frame and proprietary stabilization system, marking a significant evolution in the personal aerial vehicle PEV, sector. The airbike's unique open frame structure and jet propulsion enable it to achieve vertical takeoff and landing, with top speeds reaching 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour. Unlike conventional EVTOLs, it offers a motorcycle-style riding position and is controlled via telemetry-integrated helmets that respond to body movement. According to Patan, the system delivers an immersive flying experience that is intuitive even for novice pilots. Weighing just 39 kilograms thanks to its carbon fiber and 3D-printed construction, the airbike is said to be seven times lighter than a typical motorcycle. This extreme weight reduction contributes to its agility allowing it to maneuver through tight spaces including forested areas, a feat demonstrated in recent promotional videos. Despite its sci-fi appearance complete with red LED strips and nods to Star Wars speeder bikes, the airbike represents a real-world technological leap. Though Volonaut has not disclosed exact details of the propulsion system, sources suggest a jet micro-turbine configuration. The company has also remained silent on pricing and commercial availability, but hinted that more details are expected soon. In terms of application, the airbike's compact size and agility open the door for uses ranging from recreational flying and urban commuting to emergency response and tactical operations. However, limitations such as fuel consumption, noise levels, and regulatory challenges still stand in the way of widespread adoption. The airbike joins a growing ecosystem of personal flight solutions, standing apart with its rotorless, high-performance design. Whether it will become a niche vehicle for enthusiasts or a mainstream mobility option remains to be seen, but its debut has undeniably added momentum to the future of personal aviation. From a technical standpoint, the airbike leverages several key innovations. Its flight control system is powered by a flight computer capable of real-time adjustments, incorporating telemetry data and rider orientation to maintain balance and stability. This control suite significantly lowers the barrier for piloting such advanced machinery, making it accessible to a broader demographic. Propulsion remains one of the most anticipated details. The absence of visible rotors and the high-speed capability point, strongly to a jet-based system, possibly involving microturbines or ducted fans. While this setup offers substantial thrust-to-weight advantages, it introduces trade-offs in terms of fuel efficiency and operational noise. These aspects could impact urban usability unless future iterations incorporate quieter, more sustainable propulsion methods. Safety remains a central consideration. With no enclosed cockpit or structural protection, crash survivability is a critical design concern. To address this, future models may need to integrate deployable safety features such as ballistic parachutes, emergency flotation systems, or protective pilot suits. Training protocols and automated assistance systems will also be crucial for mitigating risks. Market analysts see multiple potential paths for the airbike. Beyond individual enthusiasts, early adopters could include police units, emergency medics, and military scouts, who value rapid deployment and high agility. For urban environments, the airbike might eventually play a role in micro-commuting or serve as a new form of aerial logistics, especially in hard-to-reach or congested areas. The regulatory landscape is still catching up with these innovations. Existing categories under civil aviation law may not adequately cover vehicles like the airbike. This raises important questions around pilot licensing, insurance, airspace management, and certification. Some experts predict the emergence of new classifications within ultralight or experimental aircraft frameworks to accommodate these novel designs. Comparisons with competitors such as Jetson 1, Jetpack Aviation Speeder, and France's Jet Racer highlight the airbike's distinct design philosophy. Where others emphasize multi-rotor safety and broader platform applications, Volonaut bets on minimalism and visceral experience. This divergence could carve a unique niche, particularly among adventure seekers and technology pioneers. As the PAV market matures, innovation will likely be driven by a combination of demand-side factors, 
such as urban mobility needs and recreational interest, and supply-side breakthroughs in materials, autonomy, and powertrains. Volanot's use of carbon composites and additive manufacturing reflects a broader industry trend toward lightweight, customizable structures. Ultimately, the Volanot airbike is more than a technological stunt. It's a demonstration of what's possible when conventional constraints are discarded in favor of bold reimagining. Whether it achieves mass adoption or remains a symbol of elite experimentation, its impact on design thinking and market expectations is already tangible. Volanot's next steps will be crucial. Further flight testing, regulatory engagement, and possibly partnerships with aviation bodies or defense entities could shape its trajectory. The company's ability to scale production, ensure safety, and build user trust will determine whether the airbike remains a futuristic curiosity or becomes a staple in tomorrow's skies. For now, the world watches as one of the most radical concepts in modern aviation begins to take shape, not in secret labs or CGI renderings, but in real flights above the trees. The Volanot airbike isn't just redefining how we fly, it's redefining who gets to fly.